Dragon Age Inquisition was rated M for Mature by the ESRB and contains blood, intense violence, nudity, sexual content, and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Ronith and I play games for the internet, and today we're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. We're back in the, uh... Emerald Graves. I'm just yeah. I'm just doing a thing. Just, you know. Okay. Getting all that sorted, and I'm gonna change up my party a bit because it's, you know, confirm. By the end of Hard in Hightown, almost every character is revealed as a spy or a traitor. Wait! You read my book! It was in the Inquisition Library. Everyone but Donnan turned out to be in disguise. Is that common? Are we still talking about books, or are you asking if everyone I know is a secret agent? Are there many tricksters in dwarven literature? A handful, but they're the exception. Mostly they're just honoring the ancestors. It's very dull stuff. Human literature. Now there's where you'll find the tricky, clever, really deceitful types. Curious. No, not really. Dwarves write how they want things to be. Humans write to figure out how things are. Hmm. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna jump all the way over to Dinanhanin. <clears throat> because... I don't want to fight giants! La 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 Why? Why are we... Why are you angry with me? Ram? Is there... T oh. Okay. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. What's here are people to fuck up. How? Excuse me? Darkspawn sickle. Well, that's. And some August Ram leather. Alright, so what's here? Bottles of Thetis, Chase and Sackmead, a brutishly strong honey liqueur, reminiscent of a warm summer day's apple blossoms on the wind, and with an unexpected aftertaste of father going off to war, never to return. Bitter, to say the least. Okay, game. Tell us how you really feel. 
blood-spattered notes. These appeared to be scribbled notes of a scholar named Erwin Cavi. The elements have ruined most of the writing. How many times have I sought information on the Dalish only to find that it is, once again, a tale told by Keeper Gisharel of the Ralafarin clan. We can't have one Keeper from years ago be our sole source of knowledge on the Dalish. There must be other voices in the Dalish clans, other perspectives that the elves cannot be cannot all be as hostile as most would a dark smear obscures the writing. Conclude that it is our prejudice speaking when we repeat these damaging untrue when I return the university will finally acknowledge my contributions to Theodosian history. Frenadad Genetivi, step aside. Remarkably difficult to locate. I'm walking in circles, but take heart, Erwin. This is all for a good cause. There must be someone in this forest who can point me to the Dalish. I'll ask the next person I come... Poor guy. Uh, last wishes. And there was one other thing we had to do here, no? Oh. No, I guess we figured it out already. Oh. All right. Well, in the meantime, let's just... What are you fighting? No one's fighting! Oh my god! <laughs> and go. Hmm. Now we just have to find. Oh, apparently there was some ever, right? Eh? There's more here. There's that massive fucking dragon. Where is that? I want to fight it. Also, because where that dragon is is like the last um, landmark and so on. Right? Hang on. Landmarks. The graves, yeah. One. One left of those. One left of those. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh. I guess maybe this way? Finger wall. Yep. Twisted tree rise. Oh, my Immune to ice? Or 
electricity. Dorian and Cassandra and had just three frontliners. Falling back. Eventually, I'm going to make a 
right dragon slaying armor set weapon set then you'll be sorry to make myself dragon slaying knives. This is ridiculous. Oh, 
Got her. We almost got her. No, 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 no. Please hit her. Actually hit her. What a waste. Punk, I hate you. How dare you? a dragon. What does that have to do with anything? Anyway. With her defeated, and we got a bunch of good stuff. I'm gonna check it out in a bit. But with her defeated, and... This last landmark claimed... The twisted tree. The tree on the hill made me deeply uneasy. I chose not to camp there, even though the view was something to behold. Later on, at a tavern in Val... in... Ville Montevillain, I heard the tale. Before the dales were conquered, elves would capture humans who trespassed and string their heads from the branches of that twisted, twisted tree. From a journey through the dales by Lord Horace Medford, adventurer. <sighs> Prowler coat arms. Just grab all this. And, uh, the stuff we got from the dragon. Um. No, we didn't get that. 
Do we get this? Over the ages, Estwatch guards have defended their eastern outpost from both pirates and Canari, and were defeated only once by a massive Canari invasion in 770 Storm. After joining a successful Orlesian attack to retake the island, they were awarded the emblem emblazoned on their shields ever since. Huh. Gift of the Talons! Ooh! Assassins who achieve the rank of Talon in the Antivan Crows receive a dagger from the Guildmaster, who orders them to kill a target that with that blade alone. The more unusual and difficult the target, the greater the omen for their future in the guild leadership. More than one Talon has never returned. We just got long shot. <laughs> Restriction, not Varric. This magical bow has always ended up with archers skilled enough to use it, and always in a crisis where it is most needed. It pleases the bow, because otherwise life would be boring, even for a bow. Alright. And armor. Helm of the Inquisitor. The last leader of the original Inquisition went by the name Emeridan, a renowned dragon hunter conscripted into the order for his heroic reputation as well as skills as a warrior. Records of the era paint him either as a passionate man determined to do his part to restore order, or as a man of faith ultimately uninterested in the intricacies of leadership, but willing to do what he could for the greater good. A close friend of Cordelius Dracon, the Orlesian Emperor responsible for the Chantry's creation, Meriden vanished soon after the Inquisition's dissolution. Some believe he went on a failed dragon hunt. Others say he dropped out of sight so as to not overshadow the newly created Templar Order. Whatever the truth, despite the an extensive search ordered by the Emperor, he was never seen again. And I'm gonna put that on. Also, in war, victory. Blight, be Blight is beaten, and we of the hammer of the Anderfells, uh, uh, we the hammer of the hammer of Anderfells, commit to this oath that never will a warden want while breathing, while breath remains to be drawn. So, hey, Solas. Mm. No, I'll have to put that on someone else. And... By the way, that oh, I'll have to give it to um I have to give it to Cole. Right. Okay. Where do we go now? We're done here. There's literally nothing else. Um Oh, there's stuff to do in Emprise du Lyon. Let's go back to Skyhold. Check in on stuff there. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. Mm. Hmm? Need something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? I'm always here to admire the dwarf. Carry on. This is the invasion. We need one more piece. That'll be finished. Ugh. 
Hey, Gatsy. Stone Mad Inquisitor. Uh, mm. Another time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. Thanks. Let's. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> That's him. I, I thought he'd look. I don't know, more demonic tentacles and fiery breath. He is a normal boy, Alistair. Oh. And what does he know of how he was made? He knows his father was a good man. I... I thought you deserved that much. <laughs> He's changed you. Don't be absurd. <laughs> did where did you go there was another guy here where oh god and i turned around and alistair vanished just immediately okay cool greetings inquisitor uh what are you working on what work have you been doing to help us currently my efforts are focused on determining what corypheus is and from where his power comes. The elven orb he carries is what draws my attention. I wonder if the power he used to tear open the Fade in fact came from the orb. Perhaps it is even the source of your anchor. If I learn of its origin, I may also learn what Corypheus now intends, as well as his weaknesses. Hmm. Would you fight alongside me? I could use your company for my excursions outside Skyhold. I have spent my share of time wandering the wilderness in the company of others, Inquisitor. Thank you for the invitation, but for now I will restrict my efforts to researching the arcane. I apologize for that edit. Uh, <clears throat> I'm actually eating breakfast while I record because I am very, very hungry. What about his dragon? Do you know anything about his dragon? It has the appearance of an archdemon. Of that, I am certain. A true archdemon, however, is supposedly the corrupted form of an old god. Has Corypheus actually dug up one of the ancient prisons? If so, why has a new blight not begun? His dragon is something else, something connected to his blighted nature as well as his magic. Beyond that, I cannot say. Could he become a god? Is it even possible that Corypheus could succeed? The Black City exists. Wherever one goes in the Fade, it is visible in the sky. The last time Corypheus and his cohort stormed its doors, they unleashed the Blight upon the world. This time, perhaps he might indeed gain untold power, becoming something unto a god. It is also possible he could unleash something far worse than the Blights. So yes. Corypheus could succeed in his goal. If not, his attempt alone could destroy the world. He thinks I'm a rival. Corypheus says I'm a rival. Does that mean... Could you become a god? That depends. Are you prepared to use your anchor to enter the Black City? Definitely not. No. Never. Tell Corypheus that see if he believes you. I appreciate your efforts. However you can help, it's appreciated. Continue prodding at Corypheus Inquisitor. Elicit a reaction, and we may yet learn from it. Hmm. Thoughts on the Inquisition? Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? It is remarkable what you have built. I will give you that. A web of favors has wrapped every noble family in Southern Thedas around your fingers. All this in precious little time conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. 
I wonder if Corypheus suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. <laughs> I'm not sure what's next. I have no idea what will happen once all this is over. Do you not? No doubt there will be countless men and women with suggestions. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, many will be eager to knock you back down. Tell me more about you. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking her way into the Inquisition's ranks? Once I was an apostate, living well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kukari Wilds. Then came the fifth blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. Tis certain the nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. Hmm. Tell me about Kieran. Tell me more about your son. He is a very special young man. Special in what way? In every way. At first, Kieran was a means to an end. But as he grew, I never thought of myself as a mother, Inquisitor. I, I had no good example to follow. I find myself becoming something I can barely recognize. You're an apostate? It's odd that an apostate could live so openly. <laughs> it confuses those who expect apostates to cower and hide. I stand boldly before them and demand to know why I need some Chantry mage to teach me to control my power. They would put me on a leash so they can feel safer at night. I am uninterested in their comfort. Naturally, it helps to have friends in high places. <laughs> you were in the Fifth Blight? You were in Ferelden during the Blight? The Blight began in the Kukari Wilds, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. She is the reason the Blight was defeated. I wish things had gone differently in the end. It had to be, yet. And after that, I came to Orlais. The last place one would look for me, or such was my hope. Why the Orlesian court? The Orlesian court seems like an odd place to find someone like you. That was the point, originally. I knew the Empress was intrigued by the Arcane, and that I could answer questions no Chantry Mage could. Thus, we fit together nicely. I became her advisor, and she my benefactor and source of refuge. Truth be told, our arrangement would not have lasted much longer. Too many wagging tongues, even for Selene. Hmm. Goodbye. Whoop. Nope. Brevis. I leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. Hmm. <laughs> You learn quickly. Wonderfully dangerous. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Hopefully that works with all of them. Mm. Let's uh let's go talk to Liliana. In between episodes I'm going to um see what uh potions I have that I can upgrade. Yes. Any
any updates? Anything I should know? Selene has cemented power in all aid. Good, we need an ally like her. At the moment, she's said to be rooting out the last of Gaspar's supporters. Once that is done, we will have a united Orle behind the Inquisition. Good. I'll leave you to your work. Mm. Cat talk, I found an inappropriately shelved tome this morning, and I have to figure out how it got there. I hope the spy master doesn't have me flogged. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. Right. Turn in research. What? That can't be right. No, oh, there we go. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. Okay, how are your duties going? What is your evaluation of how we're doing? I am able to pursue my duties with optimal efficiency, thanks to Skyhold's present state. Goodbye. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Hello, Fiona. The warden you brought to Skyhold. His name is Alistair? Mm -hmm. Yes. Didn't you meet him? No, there's no point in that now. He seems a good man. He does. That's true, he does. It's not important. I'm simply musing on the clever tricks the Maker plays. Everything is well? I trust everything is well with the mages? We are mostly relieved. An alliance with the Inquisition offers security. Although, who knows for how long? I'll leave you to it. <sighs> so apparently... Apparently, there's stuff out there, I don't know if it's a book or if it's just in like the RPG, the, the tabletop RPG I mean, that Fiona is Alistair's real mom. Fancy meeting you here. Hmm. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. I would... I mean, I just killed a dragon without you, and for that I apologize, but... Still. Hey. Vivian. You've made such intriguing design choices for the castle, my dear. They must be inspired. You inspired it. I strive to match your elegant sense of style. Once this business with Corypheus is done, I'll take you to Val Royo. You should meet my seamstress. And appearances are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. Mm. Uh. Uh. I can't... I suppose you're right. I suppose it's important to show that we're an authority to be respected. Not just respected, my dear. Awed, feared, aspired to. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a man who the common folk aspire to be and to whom the nobility bow. And style is enough? And you think I can accomplish this purely through fashion? It is a weapon in your arsenal. Don't overlook it, my dear. As the stories of the Inquisition spread, more and more people will wonder if you are the man they say you are. They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. You hold the Divine to that? If that's your standard for me, what does the Divine have to live up to? Andraste and the Maker cast very large shadows. The Divine absolutely must set the example for all Thedas. She must seem to be the embodiment of the Maker to the Faithful. She needs the authority of the Maker and the charisma of Andraste. It will be no small task to fill that vacant throne. Hmm. Did you need something, darling? Tell me about yourself. I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivienne. 
Whatever would you like to know? Tell me about Duke Bastien. Why don't you tell me more about your Duke? Bastien is... was... the leader of the Council of Heralds. The only person who could bring that rabble into line. He could charm a bird out of its feathers, and frequently did. I remember once, he broke up a fight between Prosper de Montfort and the Dowager with a joke and a glass of wine. Oh, Bastien. I'm sorry, my dear. I don't think I can discuss this. How may I help you? Let's talk about our friends. What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? Blackwall is a useful sort of fellow, but he's perhaps too eager to please. He reminds me of a pup begging for attention. <laughs> oh. <sighs> right. Um. No, I went the wrong way. Tell me about your journeys. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I think I have shared everything of note. I should spend some time encountering more stories. Tell me about Corypheus. I need to know more about Corypheus. Although you have ended the battle in Olay, it will take the country some time to recover. Corypheus faces a decision. Accelerate his plan to gain power, or abandon his dream of conquering Olay. For now, he will never abandon his dream. Mm. Bye. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Alright. Well, on that note, it's been... Mm. Hmm. It's been a bit, and last episode was very long. Uh, or at least it was very long to record. So, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to, um... Inquisitor. Yes, hello, dear. I'm going to, uh, end it here. And I'm going to, um, I'll cover, I'm going to do some stuff at the war table, maybe. Uh, maybe. And, um, I'm going to see what I can do with the Not trying to step on your toes, yeah. potions. Uh, so I'm going to end it here. Until next time. Take care of yourselves, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!